ultimate lately. So I'm really excited to see the meta of that character. Because Fox in general is a, over time, the character just gets better. Like, if you look at how he was in the previous game, people thought he was all right. And then, you know, people started to discover how crazy the character can be. Uh, ooh, but one of the big problems with Fox, the sort of dilemma he's had every single game he's been in, is he has such combo bait. And another downer, he doesn't even need it. Unable to reach, that's 11%. That's all he's taken. One Squirtle combo, one Pokemon trainer move, and that was all that was necessary. <gasps> okay, if he'd actually gotten that second down to Noku might have closed out another stock. But as it stands, uh, Grunk has to pull off some Nutty Fox stuff, which is, you know, always possible. I love that up actually. Squirtle up B, first of all, the hitbox on it way bigger than you'd think it is. Uh, to the point where it's a decent combo breaker sometimes. Especially because people don't expect it usually. Oh. Now, that is one thing about Pokemon Trainer. He has that frame one invincible down B. However, Fox is a character with such good pressure overall that, as we saw right there, went for it. I'm pretty sure he actually avoided the move, but he was still hit by the next one. So that's not going to be... Uh, sort of the purpose, like all-purpose defensive option that it maybe would be in other matchups. Oh, such a smart air dodge, avoiding that. Oh, the, I love it. The insta switch to Charizard up B. Oh. And now this is the sort of thing where it's Charizard picking his battle. 125%. There are there are definitely things he has to be scared of. Oh, that up smash, not actually able to connect, and now he has to deal with a... Finally, uh, Noku has gotten some stage control, or at the very least, made things neutral once again, and just like that, all of this damage, all of this fear being placed in Grunk is he's now off stage, he is now dead! That was a three stock coming out from Noku. Yeah, Grunk doing a little bit of a sort of nod, you know, acknowledging, okay, that game happened. And what does he need to actually do in this the next one to turn things around? Oh, is he going to go Paper Mario? Is he going to go Balloon Fight? <laughs> now, one of the big things, and it's, this is one of those things that's much easier said than done, but his con Grunks confirms he missed an up smash I saw. There was one point where he had a really cool, uh, like, knocked him off the platform and I think was trying to lock him. Okay. I can agree with this, considering the fact that the Fox was not getting the kills because just for whatever reason, the, uh, you know, he wasn't connecting to those finishers. He's just going the Wolf, and the Wolf is a lot more just overall reliable. However, Wolf has a lot of those same problems as Fox, where, you know, he gets comboed all to heck. He can get edge guarded as well. Whoa. Yeah, 88%, and now he has to deal with the Ivysaur. Oh, even though he managed to finally get past that offensive wall from Noku. All right, here we have it. Uh, possibly some big damage. It is worth noting that Wolf overall doesn't have the same pressure as Fox, meaning that that uh, Pokemon Trainer Down B might be more useful at getting Noku out of bad situations. Oh, wow, goes for that huge up smash. <laughs> Wow, and the forward, the, sorry, that up B coming out. That's the second time he's gotten the kill with it. And now he's at low enough percent that he can comfortably go into Squirtle, which means that one neutral win leads to all of this damage. And it keeps growing up air to, oh, he air dodges out of it, but he's not out of the woods. He has to land without a jump, and that means that it just keeps going and going. Oof. Kind of expecting to see a swap too. Yeah. Ivysaur coming out right there. This is the, these are the percents where Grunk has to be seriously scared of Ivysaur just ending him. Ivysaur has so many ways to do that, even at these lower percents. This ledge trap is going to be super important. Wow, landing with the flamethrower. Such a smart option. And it gets him back to the stage. Up tilt is not enough to finish it. And that means that now... Uh, Noku, I mean, I'm reminding myself of that game. What? 
where the Charizard survived and then just closed out the stock. I love the flare, but he's already at such high percent that taking a little extra damage from recoil isn't really a problem for him. That should be it. Back throw to finish it. It does. Noku actually stays with Squirtle. I would expect not for too long, purely just because of the fact that Squirtle, of course, lacks the finishing power of the other two Pokemon. Yep. And now that he's off stage, oh, he falls out of that Nair. That's really big for Grunk. Wolf does have ways to end stock seriously early. That was real scary. Oh, no, and he went down too deep. And that's the sort of thing where if he had maybe not gone that deep, he probably would have gotten hit by the Ivy Sword down there, so he was dead anyway. That being said, I was just going to say Noku's at like 90%, which means that he could die at any moment. And as we see, that's an even game. Despite the fact that Noku has felt, he's felt dominant, uh, this is not really anywhere close to a set and dump. Oh, the full hop Nair to up B. That move might have been nerfed, but it is still dummy strong. And so that is uh, going to be a 2-0 victory for Noku. Just consistent, solid play overall. Plus, we saw some really... I think that Pokemon Trainer, uh, in general, you saw that his disadvantage is super unique, and there's super. There are just so many ways to mix it up. I'm really reminding myself of that Flamethrower to get back. That was... I would have never seen that coming in, neither did Grunk.